Hey everyone, welcome back to another daily vlog from Better Biomed. Today has been an absolute emotional roller coaster. It started out as an excellent day, it got progressively worse, and then it got better, and then it got worse. I've seen some amazing things today, I've had some excellent teamwork, and it finished all off with another scandalous equipment manufacturer that just really irritates me and that's how I'm coming home unfortunately um, anyway let's go through it all so today started out really really well um, I had a lot of good things uh, I found out that I had an, a downed operating room because my operating room purchaser didn't keep on stock a certain type of or light bulb it's just a stupid bulb so the good part of the day is I reached out to my fellow biomeds over at a neighboring hospital um, and I reached out to a friend slash previous team leader slash mentor and uh, he hooked me up he got me the bulbs that I need and I'm not gonna have a downed operating room because of that fellowship with a um, neighboring hospital that was probably one of the best things that happened to me today and and that was absolutely fantastic it was good to see uh, some previous teammates um, I've seen some previous managers it was all a real positive experience it was really nice man I, I love keeping a good rapport and a, a good association with biomeds from other hospitals because situations like this happen and that was a good thing um, I ended up having a situation with a meeting today where I had to kind of walk out because um, I don't know if you guys know this but I currently take care of 58 operating rooms which I wish I could go through the numbers that includes cath labs and um, includes operating rooms um, includes uh, cardiovascular ORs and they're all in different buildings and these buildings are not right next to each other so I'll have like 12 on one floor, 11 on one floor. I've got six cardiovascular ORs. I've got six cath labs. I've got two labor and delivery to four labor and delivery ORs on a whole nother building. Um, it's all just spread out. And then today I also found out that I'm also responsible for central sterile, um, which includes managing that contract for all the sterilizers and I'm also responsible for uh, pathology and histology and all their microtomes, microscopes, and various medical equipment. Um, one of the team leaders for the imaging team, uh, I got a little bit of a talk in with him and he's going to help me out uh, with a new item that I'm almost completely lost on, but I love hearing when people want to reach out and, and help with that he could have just said no man that's not my area but you know he's th this is what it is you know we got some of these people that are really hard workers and you know you just present your problem and they're willing to to help out and that's that's excellent man I love that but uh, after all that uh, I had a second meeting and then at the very end of my day I got a quote back from Edwards Life Sciences for um, this hemodynamics machine and it just set me right off and that's why I'm actually parked in this parking lot out in the middle of nowhere because I don't want to go home quite yet because I'm still a little fuming um, because the only thing that's wrong with this patient monitor is that the power button wasn't working it it didn't have that tactile feel that it should have something didn't feel right uh, but regardless I mean what would you think uh, one of these portable little monitors would cost I'm gonna include a picture in the description down below but you gotta wonder what was what do you honestly think one of these could cost I made a video about flat uh, flat rate repairs and how they're gonna be the devil and this company Edwards Life Sciences if you guys are hearing this I am not happy with you guys at all okay talk about a scandal and a ripoff Edwards Life Sciences to get this unit repaired, flat rate repair, they want $15,000. 15000 Not happy with you guys at Edwards. 
That is absolutely scandalous. I'm not buying a new unit. I want a unit repaired for specifically the power button. $15,000. You got to be kidding me. So despite all the negative stuff that happened today, I've seen some excellent things from some of my coworkers. And because of my plight, uh, because I, I have so much area of responsibility, I only have two technicians, me and a Biomed 2. And it's a good thing my Biomed 2 is a very positive individual. He's kind of quiet and he just does whatever I need him to do. He's been fantastic. But I gotta tell you, man, two technicians for 58 ORs plus histology, you know, uh, central sterile, and you know whatever else they want to put on my plate, two people. And um, so, thankfully today, uh, they said, "Hey, um, tell you what, we're gonna give you a third person, and he's gonna concentrate on PMs." Well, I'll tell you what, I'll take every little bit you can get me. Three people is still not enough but it's definitely some flexibility. Because one of the things I asked for is, hey, what if me and one or two other people wanna come in for the weekend? Um, is overtime allowed? They said, no. I only have two people for all that responsibility and overtime is not allowed at all. So I was told that I have to flex my hours in order to come in on a Saturday to do PM sweeps. Oh my gosh, guys, let me tell you, flexing my hours, that leads one technician who isn't even a Biomed 3, who isn't even a senior technician, it's like throwing him to the wolves, to one t one guy covering 58 ORs in multiple, multiple buildings, that's insane, I can't believe it, guys. So now I have a third person, and it's going to be a stress reliever. And he's going to make an excellent asset to my team. And, you know, despite Edwards Life Sciences and their little thing um, really setting me off right now. And I, I apologize to you guys for that. Uh, I really look forward to having this third person on my team. Even though I'm still understaffed, every little bit helps. And he's going to be a positive individual for this team. And we're going to work out great. So that's my day, guys. Sorry to hear. Uh, sorry that you guys have to hear me rant and everything. But, uh. That is how my day went. Thanks for watching.